So the question is in a highly competitive market, how does Scrum product development help acquire and retain customers? I think there's two parts to that. One part is it doesn't, right? Um, the, 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 you, it's the value question again, right? There's, 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 there's kind of two parts to the puzzle. There's, there's um, market value, right? And market value is made up of current value, i.e. what's the value that's in your product right now. So you might measure things like, I don't know, um, you might measure customer satisfaction, employee satisfaction, and usage of the features in your product. Hopefully, you get, hopefully you've got lots of telemetry coming off your product to know what buttons people are clicking when and why and at what time of the month so that you can gather that data and make decisions, right? That's current value. Um, but also looking at um, um, unrealized value, right? For those that recognize it, I'm talking about evidence-based management here, but unrealized value is looking forward into the future and figuring out what, what value you don't have in your product yet that you need to have in your product. So you could be looking at satisfaction gaps. Hopefully you're not just doing competitor analysis, right? But sometimes you might do competitor analysis and figure out um, what you need to have on your product backlog. Those, those two things Scrum can't help you with. Right, you 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 need you need to be able to. It's going to create an environment, hopefully, within which you realize you need to do that, and that um, you need to collect that data and figure it out. But that's your 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 market your market value is your job as the business, right? Um, but then you've also got your your um, organizational capability, right, at the bottom of this 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 story, and your organizational capability is two things it's your 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 organization's ability to innovate and their time to market right those are those are two things that um people inside of your business doing the work do have full control over the value discussion is a business discussion right and scrum can't help you with that business discussion except to tell you that it needs to happen right or or help make transparent that it needs to happen on the other side of that, you've got your capability. And again, Scrum just tells you that it needs to happen, right? The minimum cadence in Scrum is monthly. You're expected to have working usable product at the end of every month. Um, if you don't have that, we're, we're, you know, we might be doing okay, but we're not doing Scrum. Um, if we are able to do that, then maybe there are things that need to change. Maybe we need better engineering practices. Maybe we need um, to pay back technical debt. Maybe we need to look at look at other things. Maybe we need to look at how quickly we can get features into production. And and from the value conversation, the anything we come up with is 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 like um, a hypothesis. It's perceived value until we actually get it into production, get the data from our customers, or interview our customers and get that back into the into the process. So you might be looking at time to learn at the bottom there. And both of those categories, ability to ability to, 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 to innovate, right? How much time do we spend adding net new features rather than adding incremental features to, or inter, incremental capability to existing stuff? Net new features is where, is, 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 is where the value is, right? Or potential value is. And you're gonna to have to add a whole bunch of net new features to find that one piece of value that, that is actually valuable. So in order to do that, we've got to get it into production as quickly as possible, which is the uh, uh, time to market, right? How quickly can you get those features that you've created into market? So it's a big balance here between figuring out what you need to do for the future, the business needs to take care of that, into um, um, it being existing value, and also figuring out what your, 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 your ability to, to innovate is and your time to market that that creates that evidence-based management view of your organization um, and scrum helps and um, implicitly i think is probably the best way to describe it implicitly with many of those things right it tells you you need to have a product backlog but it doesn't tell you what goes in your product backlog or where it comes from and or how you you maximize the value of it right that's a business decision 
it 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 tells you that you need to continuously deliver working usable product but it doesn't tell you how you're going to do that what tools you're going to use what practices and techniques you need in order to achieve that so scrum is a tool for making transparent that maybe some of these things are lacking in your organization so in order to bring that back to the the, the if you're in highly competitive markets scrum enables the transparency you need as an organization to figure out that you're not going fast enough and where it is you need to fix. Is it that we're delivering lots of the wrong features, right? Because we're monitoring our, our, our usage. Is it that we're delivering features now that are too late for the market? Maybe our, our, our ability to, to, to get features into production is too slow. Is it because uh, the, 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 we're spending too much time struggling with the complexity of our existing product and it's very hard to add new features so we don't add many of them, right? Those are all pieces of information that Scrum makes transparent that we can then use to change, but we as the business still need to do that change. Scrum's just gonna tell us there's something wrong, we still need to do something about it.